2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, right. having this seal. The Lord knoweth them that are his, Amen. and let everyone that nameth the name of Hamashiach depart from iniquity. But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, and some to honor and some to dishonor. Exactly. If a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's youth, and, pre and prepared unto every good work. Okay, and so the Most High, like, like the, the elders saying, the Most High put special spirits on brothers to receive more honor. And they're going to be placed as first fruits. And then at least in the kingdom. They're going to be placed as first fruits in, in the kingdom to come to order and have and have, have everything move about. And for the people who are watching who think we're lying, we're going to prove it. Hey, well, when you look up first fruits, about the 144, it says those who are uh, of a higher rank amongst their own class. So the Lord deals with order. Okay? Go ahead. It's uh, Matthew 5 and 19. It says, Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be the least in the kingdom of heaven. Right, because shouldn't he go to hell? Right? According to Jake, that, that gets mad at us for saying Jake is going to eventually all be righteous and come back. Well, shouldn't these men who taught people not to keep the laws be go to hell and burn forever? No. It said you're going to be least in the kingdom of heaven. So we're going to look up that word least. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. All right, that word least. Come with it. Yeah. El, uh, Elishistos. We right. read Greek, bro. This is a miracle, bro. Negro from South Dallas. Says uh, smallest, least in size and amount of management of affairs. In amount of management of affairs, you'll be least. Right? The 144 in affairs are going to be, are going to have more, you know, they're yep. going to sit directly with Yahweh Shai in that rulership. Okay? But yeah. then, then you're going to have the, the, the large multitude, they're going to be well set. Yep. They're going to be good. Yep. Then you're going to have once two thirds, you know, go ahead. In importance, what is the least moment? In authority. In authority. The commandments. <laughs> in authority, you'll just be least. T.D. Jakes. In the kingdom of heaven, once you know everything is all said and done, yeah, he'll just be least. Yeah, he'll just be least. Yeah. And he'll, and when he sees the 144, it's going to be reverence. Yeah, right. But it's going, it's not going to be no thing like we lord over him. Right. But we're going to son him yeah. the right way. Literally, yeah. the elect are going to son. The, you know, it's just, have it's to just come like back. how Esau lives in these gated areas. <laughs> Like these, right. like 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 the right. Edomites that live in a regular right. suburban home, right. they have a yeah. nice life. Ten. You know, with the yeah. American flag sitting there. They go to vacation to Colorado every good. you know. Yeah. Yeah. He's Jet the ski. least. Yeah. 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 They gonna have they gonna have they gonna have they gonna have it to where uh when 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 it's time to go to high holy days and yeah. all those different things, they gonna be able to go they gonna be, they yeah. gonna have to hustle up no way to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they good. They gonna be they good. good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be they good. Suburban. Right? It says uh in, in and their the, leadership is going to be incredible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> their yeah, governors they, they, they going to be the managers. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're going to be yeah. managers. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's yeah. up. That's the kingdom of heaven, brothers. That's it. That's what the Lord is setting up. Yep. It's deeper than just <laughs> coming out here and talking about the white man's the devil. Yeah, that's different. It's different. What we are saying, nobody else is saying that way. Yeah. It says, in the estimation of men, of persons, in rank and excellence in of rank. persons. In of persons, rank. yeah. Rank. rank in the kingdom, rank. Because oh. you got those who stood stiffly. Yeah. They're going to be, be crowned, man. Be crowned. Right. Right. Directly right. by the Most High Son in his heavenly body. Go crown, you know. Give, you're going to have a new body. You're going to be given your name. Because the, the Lord named each. You know he named. We're his sons. We will yeah. breathe into existence. Yeah. All right. Through, right. 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 Just how they right. We have we're gonna get our names what we what our purpose Woo! Oh, yeah, I and we're gonna come down we're gonna change the earth 
music will be put back to the right frequency. Everything is going to be put back to where it belongs. That's what we're talking about. They'll never present that on the news. Go ahead. Uh, I got this in Revelation 14. Yep. Revelation 14 and 4 says, These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and unto the Lamb. Okay? So now we go into that word first fruits. Virgins meaning they were created to be pure. They were justified. See? You follow me. Follow, follow us, okay? Follow us. Okay? <laughs> this is uh, G537. It says, a parche, a parche, it says, to offer first means of first fruits. Subsection 2 says, to take away the first fruits of the production of the earth which was offered to the Most High. So in likeness of uh, those, that's why we're a living sacrifice, right? It says, because that happened in the heavens. Mm -hmm. Just like in the law, the firstborn of the priest would be set aside for the purpose of the duties. Well, there was a firstborn in the heavens. Under Yahweh Shai, it said what? You were chosen before the foundation of the earth. Right. So there's a set of spirits that were chosen first. Right. Under Yahweh Shai. Yep. yep. It says, the first portion of the dough from, the, with, from which sacred loaves were to be prepared. Right. Hence term used for uh, persons consecrated to the Most High right. for all time. Woo! It says persons superior in excellence to others of the same class. Woo! Right? The first fruits, man. So there's going to be that section of the 144, those 144, the governing body, that are going to be elevated in rank compared to the rest of the nation of Israel. Right. All right? And the blessings and everything that comes along with that is going to be ushered out. Right. And your leadership, the 144, are all men. Yes. That role is for men. The people in Israel not fighting up against that. But I'm, I'm not mad. All I have to say is we will see. We're going to see. So there will be order and rank in the kingdom of heaven. But the beauty of it is going to be based upon righteousness. And it's going to be in all of our people's spirit once the rebels occurs down to be down with it. You're not, the women, you're not going to have to battle with the same mind frame you battle with here. Right. We're not going to have the same issues we have here in that day. All Israel is going to be set. You realize how big this earth is? Then you got the other galaxies. But I like to deal with the earth. I want this. I want to see this beautified and perfected. Because it's a beautiful vessel. Right? I want to see. I want to be at the forefront of putting the water back in water. Yeah. Right. Cleaning, you know. Yeah. The earth is like literally functioning like in a top tier performance. Right. Right. And immortality, man. Right. Optimized. Right. Right. Optimized. Right. Because right. yeah. you look at what you be on YouTube looking at. You'll be looking at Norway, New Zealand, yeah, you know, yeah, different yeah. parts of the earth. Yeah. It is beautiful, man. It is huge. Massive. So the Lord will be like one of the 144, each of the 140. This yours. Yeah. This yours. I'll be back. Tell you, this <laughs> yours. Cover that. This yours. Cover that. Set up right. Set up your vibration. Yeah. 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 This type of woman, this type of water, only going to be where your vibe is at. You that's go to the other one, then we travel back, bring gifts to one another, and the heathen are going to be like, damn! Yeah. These are, this is the seed that's of them. the Most High. That's right. them. You know? On Earth! Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I got this that's what's coming, coming man. And how are we, how is that crazy? That's how could you be against that message as if you hear that, man? You pray. Right. Yeah. They don't want to go through that judgment this world. and destruction. Yes, right. They under the vibration of darkness. So this light is cruel to them. You know? Yeah. Die garments from Basel 144. I knew he was coming. <laughs> Second <laughs> Ezra chapter 2, verse 47, the one we had uh, mentioned earlier. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so simply for the name of the Lord. Okay? Uh, let's see. See, 
blessed. But you can read it. Uh, Brother uh, Dark Matter, Yahweh to put uh, Isaiah 54 14. In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, but thou shalt not fear, and from, and from terror, right, it shall come, no, no it more shall oppression. not come near thee. Yeah? No more oppression. Read those blessings. We can't focus on the curses too much. Well, all right, we came, we, now we're overcoming those curses. Exactly. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Read those blessings, brothers. Read 1 through 14. Yeah. Don't know, yeah, we can, uh, yeah, the curses. But man, hey, the blessings, man, yeah, that's yeah, coming too. And Volcan, his thing is, the Lord cursed Israel off. That's his thing. That's literally what he's saying. And replaced, now there's a multi nationality covenant because Israel, the Lord cursed that fig tree. So he wants us to go under the curses. But when it comes to the blessings, hell no. You see that? <laughs> I got the uh, Isaiah. Yep, read, read, read. <laughs> Isaiah 61 and 9. Yeah, so that's 6. Huh? All right. Isaiah 61 and 6. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our power. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. Hmm. And in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. Oh, right. So you're going to be awesome. having uh, different areas of the world to rule over, man. Oh different God. nations are going to be building, doing what you need to do. Right. right. All right? You're going to be doing the service of the Heavenly Father on earth. The glory of the Most High is going to be on earth, man. Wow. You're going to be like, get up hey, get up this concrete. Because yeah. we're not going to need concrete. Now, America's going to be destroyed, but like Europe, different part. Of, like I say, man, uh, I look at Norway a lot. I look at New Zealand a lot. I see. You know what I'm saying? See, Jake is stuck on Africa. Yes, Africa is a beautiful, it's a very beautiful land. It's very fruitful. But so is South America. So is the other parts of the world. It has a lot of resources, yes. But the Most High has more everywhere. The whole earth is going to be ours. So you look at these different regions in the earth. Go and look, click on, look at something different than what you know. And you just look at this land, different colors and trees. You gonna be able to? We're gonna set up the Lord's kingdom there. You God. thinking it's it's cold? Of, no, it ain't. You ain't gonna be too cold in the kingdom. God, <laughs> it's, no, it's right. gonna, you gonna be good. Just right. You got to take away this mortal mind frame God. and view. Start to view the earth through the right righteousness. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're gonna get up this concrete. No concrete no, no, in the kingdom yeah. of heaven. No. Look. And how it's supposed to be? Earth. Be. Yep. Yep. Then our children are going to be able to play with animals, man. You see your child right now in a pit bull in front of 666. No, you not. the devil is alive. Yahweh Bashmi Ashad cursed the uh, 666. The Heavenly Father is going to destroy the 666. Right. All right? But your children in the kingdom, they, they grow. With a, walking with a bear, you ain't going to have no worry. You don't see your child for two years. Right. You ain't worry. Oh, oh yeah. You put him, put him on a milk carton. Have you seen him? The rocks got his ass. In the kingdom, he gonna be somewhere learning something new, coming to you back. Oh, look at this tree sap I got, Dad. Look at this type of mineral. Oh man, it's this in it, that's in it, man. Look, 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 look. Yep. The heathen gonna be like, that's the chip right there. That's my master. Go ahead. This is second Ezra seven and uh verse seven. For your shame ye shall have double. And for confusion, they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore, in their land, they shall possess the double. double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for he burnt offering. So the way, so the way that this earth has been taken by the enemy of the Most High, the Most High hates it, and He's going to return it back unto the righteous double. Okay, go ahead, Chad. It says, "For I, the Lord, love judgment." I hate robbery for burnt offering, and I will direct their work in truth. That's what's happening. The Lord is directing now. We're not thugs or women. Now they're coming to them. We're not sluts and whores and bad bitches. The Lord is redirecting our minds, man. And it starts through the spirit of his son, Yahweh Shai, sending that knowledge down. We can't deny that fact, man. How do you have access back? You don't have a temple. Who's your high priest? Right. Go ahead. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them. Right. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles Woo! and their offspring among the people. Right. Why? Because we're going to possess them. That's in the, the law. 
think the law is going to be written on our inner parts? Right. There's a law, Leviticus 25, that you possess the heathen to pass down to your children. <laughs> we'll get it. Now, what did the Lord say? Ask of me, and I'm going to give you the heathen for your inheritance. So the uh, heathen, they're going to be there. They're going to witness the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. They're going to breathe clean air. Yeah. They're right. going to see the children of the Lord in their perfection. And what are they going to do? All that see them shall acknowledge them that they are the seed which the Lord has blessed. That's right. <laughs> That's right, Bokeh. Okay. That's it, Bokeh. Okay. That's right. All of them. You mad? And who, are they doing that now to the, to the 1948? Are people looking to him with that big ass nose and that that CD yeah. on top of his head? No, they're trying Saying to force it down people's throat with a, with a barrel of a gun. Right. These are the chosen people. Right, right. They are the Israelites. Yeah, a whole, a whole poor drunk, drunk. poor. Yeah. Yes, it's not the matter, drunk. What, yeah. She don't know what a sem Semitic is. Yeah. She, yeah. She, she don't know what the hell she's just saying it. Yeah. What, what time is it? 10.06. Okay. This is uh, Isaiah 2 and 2. It says, And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto right. it. Now the, the, the mountains is government. Yeah. All right. Now when you look up the word uh, Yasha Allah, that word power, yeah, uh, Allah power, when you look into it, it's Sharaf. Okay. When you go to the word government in Isaiah 9, it's Mashara. Shara is the root word. All right, so it's a government. That's what the Lord is coming to set up, a righteous government to where the rulers of the earth have the intent of righteousness in mind. Yeah. See, right now the earth is being governed under a, of a, of a wicked ruler, a yeah. wicked priesthood, yeah. Yeah. right? Therefore, yeah. Yeah. filth is everywhere. Yeah. But in the kingdom, a righteous priesthood under the high priest, Messiah, after the order of Melchizedek, we are going to rule Fine. and govern Government means to control mind. Govern, yeah. control, meant mind. Govern people in the ways of righteousness. Right. And you just watch the Lord work under that system. You're you going to love it. See, women think that's oppression. Yeah. When we talk about the kingdom of women yeah. here, like, oh, God, I can't go to the club. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But you don't understand that this that's going to be, you're going to be happy right. when the kingdom comes. You're going to love it. See? No, no, because I was just thinking about that, like how, you know, women think about the kingdom, they think, oh, like, I got to put up with you ruling and having what you want. Like, right. You think he's going to You know? No, you're going to be happy, man. You're going to eat off of that. Imagine the wives of those 144, what they're going to have. Oh, hey, in the ancient world, women who were with men of high rank, they were of high rank. Yeah. Yeah. Amongst the women were. Yeah. So the women are going to have, man, you're going to have access to... You know, service. See, you can't tell me I'm tricking in that day. <laughs> my woman, my women gonna okay. have the best oils, the best stones, yeah, right. the best. Food. I'm gonna do what the hell I want to do in righteousness. Yeah, right. Right. It's yeah. my world. What yeah. you gonna tell me? Well, I'm gonna, oh man, you a trick. All right. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna say that. They won't even whisper. It's not gonna even be. Gardens. Gardens. <laughs> and her side. That's gonna be her side. One of the side doors. She walk out. This is gonna be a right. huge. Right. Beautiful botanical park. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You kiss her, fly uh, arboretum. <laughs> Have you ever been to an arboretum, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's gonna be your backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Arboretum. Yeah. 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 And, and you're not going to have a neighbor that's right a, there. A, you're yeah. not going to walk outside yeah. and keep them Hey, hey, hey. Michonne. <laughs> no. You will not see people. <laughs> right. Hey. Right. That's going to be yours, man. And that's what we want. We want sovereignty. Yeah. We want to rule, man, and righteousness. Right, right. right. That's right. what we're doing this for. We're not doing this for any type of self-glorification. No, no. We want the names of Yahweh Bashmi Asha to be exalted yeah. so that we can rule in right. righteousness. Kind, kind, you know? you gotta kind. change your mind first. That yeah, starts kind. in your mind. And when your mind is changed to the spirit power of Yahweh Shemi Asha, then you speak it. And we're in that process right now. Okay? On any venture that you might have. Yeah. This is the ultimate venture. Yeah. Anyway. That's why I said, bro, uh, uh, somebody, somebody get uh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, uh, one, start at one. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The kingdom of heaven. <laughs> That's, That's it. it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Why not? Why not get it? We roll through the spirit, you know? Yeah. We roll in 28 and 1. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power. That's so now, now that we hearken, the Lord's gonna be in us. You see? <laughs> we we gonna have, this is gonna happen. Go ahead. It says, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. Right. This is going to be programmed in us, man. Go ahead. That the Lord thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. We're going to be above all nations of the earth. The first right. thing he said. You know what I'm saying? That's the first thing he said. Right? right. Not right. equal. That's right. what that's the chief resource of the earth. Yep. Human resource. Right. This, this, right. this, this, this is what is. this is what Yahweh is sending yeah. Yahweh Shai back to restore. Kind of. Go ahead. Yeah. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. These blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, man. Go ahead. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord our power. That's what I'm saying. Heart, uh, we, that's what's, we're going to be automatically hearkening because we're going to be programmed. Them new bodies is going to come yeah. with, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that promise. Death will be overcome. You see? Y'all got to keep on reading it, but I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, I got one. Okay, read that. Right. Well, read, read down yeah. okay. to the yeah. part yeah. where it says, uh, right here. <laughs> you <laughs> out of, uh, Lynn, Lynn. Lynn. Yeah. you should be the head. Yeah. 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 12. Okay. Right. Deuteronomy 28, 12. See, this is what Volcab, he, okay, you're right. cursed. He's literally said, the Lord, he cursed the, the fig tree. The Lord's done with Israel. But Paul says, has, has the Lord cast away his people? No. Go ahead. It says, the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give thee rain unto thy land in his season, Woo! and to bless all the work of thine hand. There's trees we never experienced. Man. We saw very little of the earth. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's through the land of Esau. Esau saw very little. Right. right. He saw and he's been having it. Like he's had the fatness of yeah. the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's still so much. Yeah. And most of your experiences with the earth is through you too. Yeah. 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 Looking at you. Yeah. Hey, sad. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sad as hell. That's sad. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. Was not the priesthood, the money, the charge of the money in the temple? Well, in the kingdom of heaven, it's just like Solomon. He was a billionaire. Yep. And by two, by 40 years, he. Man, you couldn't even really put a number to the riches right, he had. He just had substance. He had substance. <laughs> yeah. So imagine Yahweh. That was with a region of the earth. Right. You know what I'm saying? That was just a little piece of the earth. But imagine what Yahweh is going to have. And the, those who are joint heirs with him. Right. We're going to be lending to the heathen. We're going to deny him for long. <laughs> Elon will come. We need a loan. Put your, mask on. Put your goddamn mask on, boy. And bow. And then after the thousand years, it's going to be embedded in them. Right. You're going to get you know, it's going to be second. After that thousand years, they're going to have to, this going to kind of be second nature. They're going to know what we want and what to expect. They're going to be in order. You know right. what I'm saying? Then they're going to see us decimate Esau. <laughs> you yeah. know, because they got to come. Right. you going to come to that. That's going to be a feast. <laughs> okay, we get rid of Esau. Could you imagine that feast? Yep. Was Everybody got it. Because the they go, they gonna rejoice too. Yes. I would say a part of their rejoicing with the righteous being in rulership right. is getting rid of Esau. Yeah, they yeah, gonna yeah. be happy too. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Esau boys welcome out with everybody. <laughs> you getting evicted out of the garden, baby? I'm Lord. telling you. Deuteronomy 28 and 13. And the Lord shall make thee the head and yeah. not the tail. Yeah. Woo! And thou shalt be above only, and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy power, which I commend thee to observe this day. Take this into your mind. Take the spiritual, take the spiritual lessons that have got into your mind. Right? The scriptures is talking about put ye on the elect. Put the elect on, man. The ways of righteousness. With no employees. Here it is. You a boss. Everybody's a boss now. I'm a boss. Where's your employee? Look up the definition of boss. You have to have an employee. Abraham was a boss. Bosses in that day. Get your ass over here, you know. This is um, 2 Samuel 22 and 
45, strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear, they shall be obedient yeah, as soon, unto me. As soon me. as you say it, they move. That's dominance right there. That's power. That's mind control. That's righteous. The word is a power. That's government. Second Samuel 22. Read the whole thing. Because technically that's the throne of David. But basically he was rejoicing over being, you know, when he got when he finally got his enemy subdued. Right. Second Samuel is basically a song of David. 22. Second Samuel 22 is a song where David sung and rejoicing over getting the victory. I love that. I love that chapter. Yeah, you, I remember you put me onto that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I remember the, the day you uh, brought out a precept and I went home and read it. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Because just like Moses sung a song right. when Ethan fell, yeah. David, you know what I'm saying? Sung a song. And, you, and when you read it, the, 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 the correlation is that, like when you read the Psalms, David brought up Moab, Edom, yep. and uh, Canaan. The Philistine, yeah. right? When you read Moses, he brought up, when you read the song of Moses, when you get around the 19-something verse, he said, the, 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 the mighty men of uh, Edom shall be a, get it, the mighty men of Edom shall be amazed, Moab shall be amazed. Then he mentioned uh, the Canaanites. So it's the same three nations, and we are going to be at the forefront of taking their asses down under Yahushua. Those musty-ass Hamites, Esau, and those proud-ass Moabites, man. Hey, and I got this real quick. Uh, I had that in Leviticus proving to you that we're going to have Were you what I said? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Uh, 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 Exodus 15. There we go. Yeah, there we go. 15. Now this is in the law real quick. Leviticus 25 Exodus 15 and uh, 14. It says, The people shall hear and be afraid. Now, this is the song of Moses. Uh -huh. Sorrow shall take hold on the inhabitants of Palestina. The uh, then the dukes of Edom. Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, shall take uh, uh, shall take hold upon them. And the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt right. away. He mentioned the same nations yep. that David mentioned. The Edomites, the Moabites, and the Hamites. Yeah. They're within the song of victory. They mentioned, man. Because the Heavenly Father got something planned for you all, man. That's right. Now, Leviticus 25 and 45. It's in the law. Moreover, the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they shall begat in your land, and they shall be your possession, and ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for your possessions. They shall be your bondmen forever, but over your brethren, the children of Israel, ye shall not rule over one another with rigor. Right. See that? Right. right. <laughs> so the heathen, literally, under Yahawashai, will be our possession. Yeah. What's that, uh, uh, Revelation 2? Yeah. 25? Yeah. Get that. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, man. The, the, with the laws programmed in you, when you got slaves, you're going to rule them according. That's why I say the slaves going to rejoice. They gonna be. I was say they they gonna be winning to keep the all. Right, right, right. Because right. we gonna be rooted in righteousness, right. man. Then you will be a man. You know, you're not a man in the system of white supremacy. Right. You see, you are a little boy in the system of white supremacy. What makes us men is the spirit. You are not ruling as a man in in this system. Being honest, right. see, in that day, you'll have an inheritance to pass down to your children, and it'll be bigger than some Jordans or my house. Right. But actual. Human beings, right. these are yours. Yeah, they serve in our house. They, right. they, they, man, this right. family has been serving in our right. house for the last right. 600 right. years. Right. Right. And yep. you will hear that, looking at Esau's way of slavery, you'll think that that's wicked, but actual true uh, 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 servitude, it has a righteous way 
to this. We're going to do it in order. Like, we're not going to walk into the house and just cut you in half. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you see them mess up your stuff? Like, that's not true. Right. Right. Not to say they're not going to pay. Right. But we ain't going to do. See, when you think slavery, you automatically think of this Oppression. brutal, yeah. wicked yeah. slavery that Esau right. has showed you. Right. Yeah. That's not what we're going to do. Nah. It's going to be order. It, just like there's going to be order amongst us, there's going to be right. order. There's going to be different right. levels of slavery. Right, right, right. right. You're going to have some people who positions and places is like right. Right. then you right. have people that's just grudging. Like right. yeah. Yeah. ruling. Elon might be my task message most likely. It's, it's gonna be <laughs> grueling work. It's like, you know, get them down. There's certain things, there's certain oh, processes man. in the earth that the, the like managing it is grueling if you really want it to be the best that it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah. You know? The waste. Yeah, yeah that's like most, if you harvest that food like the actual process of harvesting it is like, hey. Right, right. Now there will be a point of beating your ass over the head with a rod of iron, right? Yeah. That's but right. after it's all said and done, it's gonna be your second nature to serve us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Just like right now, it's Jake's second nature to stop at a stop sign in the kingdom of heaven. After that, a thousand years, right. you will know not to eat swine. You will know. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. gonna be a grand. Your children, children, they're gonna know. That's right. Exactly. Let a rat be a rat. Right. <laughs> You're not even, see, we're not even going to see rats. Yeah. We're not supposed to see possum. <laughs> it's not supposed to be in a city amongst people. That is a, he's supposed to be out cleaning the earth, man. He's going home. If I looked outside one day, a possum was standing up. I guess I, my son had left some food out inside. It's, it's, it's standing up in the backyard eating french fries. <laughs> Literally standing up, bro. Looking, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, he looked his eyes glowing in the yeah. light. I'm like, oh, remember that one time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was at my crib yeah. and the possum <laughs> wouldn't leave. He was sitting yeah. <laughs> looking at him. He was jamming to the music. He never left. He was an hour. We're gonna see particular <laughs> animals and things, but the possum, no. <laughs> you know, butterfly. We're gonna see light bugs. We're gonna yeah. have a beautiful kingdom. Yeah, where are the light bulbs? But where do you see a light bulb? They're scarce. <laughs> the remnant light. Man. Crazy. This is Psalms one and eight. It says, "Ask of me." I said, "Like in Psalms two and eight, ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen." for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Right, see, that's the promise to Yahweh Shah. Well, see, we're joint heirs. <laughs> so, yeah, let's end it off with Revelation 2. Yep. Revelation 2 and 26, it says, I'll start at 25, but that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, Woo! to him will I give power over the nations. That's that rank, that's that, that, that's that position with Yahweh Shah. And what comes along with glory? There's, there's different aspects of glory. There's the wisdom that comes along with glory. But there's the power that comes along with glory. With glory and, prayer, yeah. and with that power comes dominance. Yep. Dominance over everything. Yep. Yep. Okay? Domicile. It says, And he shall rule them with the rod of iron, mm -hmm. as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Now, we always make that point about why does the book talk about ruling with the rod of iron? This is a authoritative rulership. Uh, yeah. It's not represented with scepters and diamonds and gold and, and, and as, a, as a, a rod, as a scepter. No, he's going to rule with a rod of iron. It's dominant, dominant. control, power. And a rod is for correction, too. Right. See, he's taking away the yeah. scepter yeah. of the ruler. Yeah. Right. And now we're going to have the scepter right. under Yahweh Shah. Now, underneath uh, Esau, that, that last kingdom, what was it made out of? It was made out of iron. What did that represent? It represented might and power, right. it dominant. Like, right. So that aspect of our rulership is going to be there through the glory and power of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. The chariots, you know, the chariots ain't just to light the sky up. Okay? The scriptures tell you what the chariots are going to do. Yeah. Help dominate. Yeah. We'll okay? Right. Mm -hmm. And if you do see a, a rat or something, it ain't going to be like here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> You know what like that the, rat represents? Right. It represents uh, pestilence and, and right. dirtiness all right. right. And rats are to clean. Yeah. yeah. It should be outside the city. Oh, yeah. 
right, it's true. Land of Moab. So with that, you know, hopefully I'll edify. That is the purpose while we're out here. We're out here as a living sacrifice, man. Right? All right, for to bring, you know, under Yahweh Shai's sacrifice, we have a sacrifice. All right, and very, very harsh, hard decisions are being made. We're gonna get ready to have to step out on faith like never before, man. So hopefully I'll edify with that. We'll give all praise to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai by Shem, Rakhadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders. A great millstone, peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.